Hello everyone, Dana 14th Prime here with my final Combaticons Combiner Wars video review. Got the whole gang together here. Swindle, Blastoff, Onslaught, Vortex, and Brawl. I've done separate video reviews for them all. And now we're just going to put them all together. So let me combine these guys and we'll be right back. So here's the pieces of Bruticus as I last left them in each of their individual videos in terms of getting them ready to go to make Bruticus. And with Vortex here, I did take some liberties in getting the helicopter blade out as imperfect as it is. I still like that better. So before we snap them together here, one inconsistency I'm noticing for how to combine Bruticus, or actually just how to position Onslaught for his arms and shoulders, is how to position this piece kind of down or up. So let me show you what I'm seeing. So in the instructions here for Onslaught, hopefully what you can see is the last step here is having you swing down these arms, bring them down low, which eliminates kind of the bulkiness off the shoulder and gives him kind of a clean shoulder line all the way across with just his head and the pipe sticking out. But then when you go right here to the combined mode, you can see they've got these pieces back on top similar to how he was before you do basically step 20 to swing him down. I'm also noticing in the schematic, and here I just have the back of the onslaught box, but you can see again, these pieces are actually up, up over the shoulders and not down. And my final reference point here is just even in this artwork, it has the shoulder piece. It's a little bit less significant because this is just art, but again, it's kind of wheel on top is probably the indicator and kind of shoulder pad piece here next to the head. So obviously the guys at Hasbro had some disagreement maybe in how they wanted Bruticus to combine. Again, this look with the shoulder pieces down is the last step of the transformation instructions. What all the pictures seem to show is basically just not having that step done, which means the shoulders go back up like this. And you get this look, which is okay. So here you get these kind of shoulder pad things that sit next to the head, a little bit lower than the, the pipes there, the guns. And there you can see you've got the wheels on top, like in the artwork. And it gives you a little bit of a skinnier waist sort of look, because he just kind of tapers much more sharply basically straight from the chest plate. So that's another way you can combine them. Again, it looks like your choice. Okay, so let's put them together here. Pieces just slide right in. Same with the arms. little bit of a tab there on the shoulder you got to push in. And there he is. I am just going to show the other shoulder positioning mode and what I'm noticing as I do that if you bring this arm up there's actually a slot on the top of the shoulder and the chest pad taps in which is hilarious. I mean, we just you can't get a consistent answer. So they actually designed the toy with tabs to fit like this. Even though the instructions say, put the arms down, but again, all the other pictures say, do it like this. So this actually seems to be, if you go by the pictures and the design of the toy, this seems to be the way actually he should look, which means skip the last step of the onslaught combination instructions. So again, here he is a little closer up and we'll do some pan up and down, but just to give you a sense of scale, he's a little over 11 inches tall. His highest point are those pipes and they probably hit about 11 and an eighth of an inch. 
So let's take a pan up and down the figure. I did notice that um, it helps to have Onslaught's legs kind of back a click. Otherwise, he tends to want to hunch over. But here you can see kind of the head and chest area looks really nice. All the pieces come together there. He's got the athletic look, you know, the big shoulders, the small waist. Here you can see how everything comes together. Here's the side view, which may not be too helpful. Just got the big arm there with blast off. You can see here, it's pretty noticeable how I've got that one click lean back just to give him a nice upright pose from a front perspective. But from the side, you can see how that creates a little bit of a lean. If we just go up and down, you can take a look at how these all come together here. Here's the back of Bruticus, which certainly leaves a lot to be desired. I mean, it's just the underside of all these figures, which we saw in the other videos, wasn't great. And when you put it all together, it doesn't look any better. Especially through here, it's just really skinny. It just looks like he's missing some mass through that back area. And then here you can see him from the vortex side, his left side, down into brawl. So I want to give you guys a little bit of a sense of articulation and what it can do as best as I can fit them on the screen here. Obviously the foot's just that plug-in foot, so nothing special there. But when you're at, you go up the leg and you get to these connection points here, you know, those will, they're part of just how they transform and hide in, but you can actually get articulation there. I don't think you'd have any chance being able to balance this guy with a, with a knee up or anything like that. But you can get that going. You get a little bit of what you can get with Onslaught here. And the, the cod piece kind of accommodates it, so you can actually get the leg up there. So you can get a leg up and a, leg, and a knee bent. And you can kick the leg out to the side. That's just a lot of Onslaught's articulation that transfers through the Bruticus. Even get his thigh swivel will come into play on Bruticus. So they did a nice job with that, making sure the articulation passed through the combined figure. Obviously no waste. Onslaught didn't have it, so it didn't all of a sudden show up. Head. A little, little down, and then you get some side to side. Go all the way around with a little bit of force. The arms, you know, they're just on these clicky ratchet things, so they'll, they'll spin around. No problem there. And again, you can get them to go out because they're just on that transformation piece. Some of the kibble might get in the way or move, but that's okay if you want to get a certain range of motion. Then you got an elbow here, which really you kind of get the hip joint and the knee joint to get some bending. So that works pretty well. So let's see if we can actually get him in a pose or two. Maybe he'll do better than I think. So check out Bruticus here. This is actually impressive, I must say. Five guys hanging together, snapped together, and he can do stuff like this. So I've got the left leg here, onslaught, forward, and the knee bent at the brawl connection. I've got the right leg kicking back. And actually one thing I didn't mention is where these connection points come in, they twist too. So you can see I've got a little bit of a twisted knee and back off to the side. So you're really getting like the side of swindle. And up above, up above I've just got some basic bent arm movement, but I was shocked that I could actually get him to do something like this. So pretty good articulation and posability for something that's you wouldn't expect to be easy to, to balance 
or to pose or to give you this type of articulation. Really same deal here, I'm just being more aggressive with the arms. Just want to test it out a little bit. So I get this arm lateral out, like he's shooting this direction. This one raised in the, in the air, like shooting towards the sky. So again, pretty impressive. I like that. So that's our combined Bruticus guys. I gotta say, it all came together pretty happy with it. And if you think about just, you know, retail kind of target prices that you'd get for this guy, maybe 15 bucks at the Lux, so you're just maybe 60 bucks there, 25 for the Voyager, so maybe $85 for all this together once he's on the shelves and well stocked. I mean, that's, that's not too bad. Certainly all the figures individually had some imperfections and we went through all that in the videos, but you know, I think they, they certainly prioritized for Combiner Wars, the combining effect of the figures. And you know, from the front, he looks really good. From the back, we saw he has some opportunities. But I'm a big fan of Bruticus. Again, like I said in the first video, the only complete G1 combiner that I had as a kid. And I gotta say, I'm pretty happy with how they brought him back. So definitely recommend recommend the set. Love the character. I think they did a nice job with the pieces. You know, a lot of repaints and remolds here to make it all happen, except for Brawl, I believe, largely. Um, but they did a nice job. So hope you liked all the various videos, guys, and bringing this guy together here in the short combining one. Hope you got a sense for what Bruticus can do for you here if you pick him up. And I'll catch you on the next video.